Hey there guys, uh, Nate here. So I wanted to share with you an idea that I'm currently working on um, and I think I'm finally ready to share out. Um, so recently I've been reading a lot of uh, Pooja Garwal's and Patrice Bain's work, uh, Powerful Teaching. And if you're not familiar with that, I definitely would um, recommend you guys check that out because this is kind of what this idea has been inspired by. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull up um, this kind of template that I've been working on. And recently I've had a lot of challenges with my students and trying to help them understand that um, you know when, when you when you study for a test or if you're trying to like conquer a task intellectually or learn how something is done um, you have to do something active and transformative with the information you have to um, kind of on the information processing model like elaborate with it and uh, so what I've created is one um, kind of something to help address that uh, and I call it the uh, six degrees of connection making which is kind of based off this you know the, the ideas of six degrees of Kevin Bacon um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this and pull up just a very very basic template um, that I've kind of made and so you can see here it's a Google drawing um, but I've also uh, linked down below uh, templates of this as PDFs and also as Google Docs where you can have your students do it there. Um, and the premise is really really simple so the idea is you give students um, this very simple template either digitally or physically and it's all about them being able to construct uh, the connections that they have between knowledge. Uh, now, what I love about this and why I'm really, really excited to try this in my classroom is that I can do it before topics, I can do it in the middle of them, I can do it after, I can do them as review, uh, and it's all about, again, students like actually showing um, that they are you know, actively practice, like practicing retrieval of the information. So for example, I could take, um, and again, this is here just on Google Drawing, uh, I could take you know two uh, or even in this case, I'm doing four uh, very, very simple things. So I could do, you know, World War I um, over here. I can do World War II. And all I'm doing are these could be just like topics or vocab or, you know, different things like that. Uh, so uh, World War II, I could do the Spanish American War, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. And then all students have to do is then make connections between those things so they can simply draw circles or they could add in text boxes and uh, kind of show how these two things might be related so for example World War one involves uh, submarines uh, and if you know then anything about World War two uh, the Germans use submarines in World War two and so um, you could talk about you know convoys and you know and again we, we start kind of actually having the students bridge and add in information into these. Um, with this idea that I've created, um, the thing that I also wanted to do with students as well is give them scaffolding within the actual template. Uh, and so what I've provided, and, I'll, and again, I've linked this all below, are uh, different levels of kind of intensity of the connection making. So I have templates here that are literally just two topics or two ideas that students have to make connections with and again they could kind of like you know form like a web uh, of connections that bind these two things uh, and then I've even made one uh, you know of course because they're you know it's the six degrees of connection making that have even as high as six bubbles but this would be one that there is a lot of there, there could be a lot going on in this page by the very end uh, so I will link uh, down below in this post uh, the link to this template and this idea. Uh, please feel free to copy it, steal it, uh, use it in your classroom. And again, thanks to um, Pooja Garwal and Patrice Bain for kind of inspiring this idea. So I uh, hope this helps. See you next time.